Once you've made a new scene, it's now time to populate it. So we can go in here and create terrain if we wanted to. And terrain works like this. I got this terrain and I want to bump it up in some nature. So automatically it launches the terrain editor. So anytime I click on terrain from now on, it'll launch the editor and allow you to oh, set bumps in the regions by choosing a brush, choosing the size of the brush, and I can paint hills and trees and stuff like that in here. And if you notice, this one allows you to uh, go in and paint it corresponding to uh, to click, hold down, shift to lower. So if you hold shift, I can now take that. And if I wanted to put like a little pond right there, I could. Okay. So what, what I would do is I would have to set the terrain height in order to make a drop off. So in order for that to work, if I was to make this huge, huge um, area that's bumped up, If I wanted to choose a brush like this, so notice I'm hitting this capped ceiling. So right now I have a hill with a little cap on top, and that is how you create like hills and valleys and gulches like that. So I can have another one that's like that. And if I wanted to connect it via a land bridge of some nature, I'll just take my brush size. And that's the tricky part, trying to get it connected. There we go. So now I got this nice little weird area that I can connect both areas to via land bridge. And if I wanted to, I could probably uh, have something that cuts into the earth going down like this. And I could have some kind of like natural slope. All right, now what else is missing? Well, textures for one, how do I do that? I also have a texture brush and I can add textures in here, choosing add textures and choose grass and rock, Hit add, and what it'll do, it'll magically fill that area with grass and rock, and now I can also add another texture in here of grass hill, and what I want to do is paint in some grass hill, so I choose this one, it's blue at the bottom, and now I can go in here and paint little small areas, or make my area big. like that and if I want to if I messed up I can repaint it in there all right so that's basically the terrain editor in a nutshell it does other things of course but we'll get into that a little bit later uh, you can paint trees and you have to choose add a tree and you got several different trees or boxes and explosions and anything else so you were going to have to make trees and then import those in or find at least a game demo that has some trees. Here's a palm tree, for example. I think this is just the default one. And yeah, it crashed. So that's how you paint trees. On to the next tutorial.